Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of Blind Piper Reacts. Um, so this is, I thought I would do my first reaction to a vocal piece by Maurice Ravel, because I thought while we're on the subject of Ravel, and I actually have a collection of really amazing female singers, right? So you probably have heard the whole adage about you know, people collecting pictures to see who looks the hottest, right? Not exact, I mean, maybe not, se not exclu maybe not exclusively, dare I say, sexiest, but, you know, which girl looks, you know, the coolest, or, you know, which girl looks, you know, like the most attractive or whatever, you know? Well, being that I'm blind, you know, the best alternatives w would be for me with their voices. Like, who has a really good vocal vibrato. And it's pretty funny how I fell in love with faster vocal vibratos. So as I mentioned a lot, I detest the wobble vibratos, you know. And when I say wobble, I'm talking about, I'm talking about this. Like that. Most opera, unfortunately, most opera singers sound like that, and I think it's probably because they learn from their relatively older voice teachers who had wobbles themselves, and I think that kind of told the student, you know, well, if she has a wobble, then that's the way I should go. And, you know, I read on some pages that a wobble is going to damage your voice. It's like, why does every opera singer sing with a wobble? When are we ever going to get them to stop it? I mean, trust me, even old Christina Dergicombe had a wobble when she got older. Everyone says this is a normal vibrato, but in my opinion, that is a wobble. That is a serious wobble. Everyone might disagree with me on that, but screw it. That's a wobble. That's a wobble there. That's also a wobble. That's also a wobble. See, almost every opera singer has such a slow and ab absolutely siren-like vibrato, I just hate it. Um, anyway. Um, when I grew up, I was fascinated with the sound of horse, horses, right? And horses, you know, it, as you think about it, they actually do have a vibrato if you think about it. And so, you know, if you hear the sound of a horse whinny, like this. Like that. Uh-oh, what was that? Um, anyway, I got used to that, hearing that. And, you know, because I got used to such a vibrato like that, that made me conditioned to think, oh, I love those kinds of vibratos. It's, fi it's really weird how I discovered it. It's like, I love that kind of vibrato much better than the all-too-common wobble that almost everybody has. And every single video that teaches how to do a vibrato is actually teaching how to do a wobble. I swear that's the truth. They don't even think that, but in my opinion, everybody is being taught how to actually sing with a wobble and not a vibrato. Anyway. So, where does this all lead to with this Ravel stuff? Well, I had this collection like I told you about, right? Like, who has the hottest vibrato and stuff like that. And again, a hot vibrato for me is a faster vibrato, especially in a female singing voice. So, one of the singers, one of the opera singers in my collection, her name is Jessica Renfrew. And Jessica Renfrew is a really amazing opera singer. And the piece that she does the piece that she does I'm gonna have to plug this into my French voice here Le Pitoyable Aventure and it's from L'Air Espagnol by Maurice Ravel. I don't know what year it was written. I don't know who the pianist is that accompanies her, but 
I, I suppose that because we were talking about Ravel previously, I would kind of merge my kind of reactions from piano pieces to vocal pieces. So here we go. Ooh. I love your vibrato, Jessica. You've got a nice vibrato. Good thing it's not a wobble. Ooh, it's also very atonal on the piano there. Ooh, nice slide, Jessica. I love how expression, expressive you are. Ooh, you nailed it. Right dead on the F. Good job, Jessica. learned to trill, because according to Joyce Donato, learning to trill is one of the only ways you can get a vibrato, a good vibrato like that. I would definitely classify this as a vibrato. It's about seven cycles per second. Ooh. Uh, that's on the verge of a wobble. That high A was on the verge of a wobble. That happens with some opera singers, I hear. The higher notes they sing, the slower their vibrato is. Ooh, nice. Ooh. the unique volume variation like Denise Lee has, but her vibrato is absolutely delicious. I can tell she's been working on the trill. Those who have wobbles never or rarely have a trill in my, like, in my experience. territory. Yeah, semi-wobble. Any vibrato that's like six cycles or lower, I would consider a wobble. So, oh. Is it over? On the piano, that was a quick ending. That's just... <laughs> and uh, I found this one on my own in 2018 because I was looking up versions of the song Non Più Mesta, um, which is a Rossini piece. And, uh, you know, I found the likes of Joyce Di Donato, Cecilia Bartoli, um, and Jessica Renfrew was one of these. So I found Jessica Renfrew and I looked on her channel to see what more, what other songs she had, and she actually had a Ravel piece, which I was like, I didn't know about Haley's obsession with Ravel back then. I only knew about it. In fact, I actually remember the date on August fourth, twenty nineteen. That's when I learned that Haley has an obsession with Maurice Ravel. So um, eventually, I showed. I think I may have sent them to Haley, but I don't know if she remembers these. But, um, so I don't know how familiar she is with this piece. I mean, she may have heard it before. Um, it doesn't require too big of a range, and there are not really too many big jumps in it. But I do know that, you know, I, don't, I know, Haley, that you're struggling with the, to learn French, but you've got your friend that can teach you how to, how to pronounce things like that. So. That could be another contender for your, um, that could be another contender for your, um, for your vocal repertoire. I really think that it could be another contender, because 
you know, it sounds to be right within your range, and uh, it doesn't go too high, it doesn't go too low, and uh, so, uh, yeah, so um, that was my first vocal piece that I reacted to. Um, any of you guys haven't heard of this before or visited my channel yet, if you like this, give it a like, subscribe, comment all you want, and join me for another episode of Blind Piper Reacts, and we'll see what will be in store for that episode. Alright, thank you for listening.